Now, what we have here is a work in progress. The idea is one of the uh, um, same format or dream of a dying little boy who um, is born to the earth, full of love, and uh, by the age of 4.848, um, he died for that little boy as he climbed a fence into heaven. And that got him into hell. Now, he was killed by his father, who was a lunatic, and hated his son for being in the accidents conceived on his uncle's birthday in the back seat of a Willie's Jeep or a Morris Cowley, I forget which. So, all these numbers fit together in a schizophrenic mind, but in my case, uh, it's been blatantly uh, shown to the world for several years now. So this is where we arrive at. Uh, in this last week, I've had um, two tattoos on my head, and that got me another angel, Kathy, who had uh, worked out that at the age of five, when I told her that when you die, you go to heaven, she said, no, the Lord's Prayer said that we are staying on the earth and that heaven's coming to the earth, and that's what she believed, and that's what she's got. Now, this is part of what I've been writing. A time machine's travelling, right? It's just past Egypt. The little dark people there are just uh, meek farmers and uh, need, don't need to do any advanced anything because the water and is plentiful and it's a paradise, right? Garden of Eden. So, time machine now. You set it for 5,000 years ago, Nile Delta. As you approach the Nile Delta, and vast upwelling clouds of water vapour obscure your view, sw swelling up from the enormous volumes of water as the Nile pours off a now 9,000 foot high sheer cliff into a vast sea, the Mediterranean, as it is known today, was then a 9,000 feet below its present level to the first waterfall outcrop. So what we're looking at here, we have this area here and the blue, if we do it in feet, is uh, 656 feet, so 657 feet. Right. And then it would fall off again, flow here. The next level down is um, 3,281 feet, but a, pr a, a prominent point would be where it flowed off into the next level down. After all, it's got to fill this up, hasn't it? It's got to go somewhere. But each one will have a magnificent waterfall that you can now recreate of uh, how the water poured from the Nile into the depths and to the deeper spot, which is now, uh, where it's marked here, is 6562 uh, feet. That's this area here. But when you actually look at the numbers, it's uh, minus 4,900 metres. So you have various rivers that flow into the uh, Mediterranean in those days. But this is what you would have seen. So the book of Revelation has to be based on these type of things. This is pre um, human interference. This is uh, from the encyclopedia. Sounding in the Mediterranean at 16,000 feet or 4,900 metres. There's your 1,600 number. <coughs> Has been recorded a submarine bridge between the western end of Crete and the Cyrenicia or Libya separates the Ionian Basin from the Levantine Basin to the south of Anatolia, which is Turkey, and the island of Crete separates the Levantine Basin from the Aegean Sea, which comprises the part of the Mediterranean Sea north of Crete and etc, etc, etc. So we're talking here, I'm saying, today the Levantine Basin is oil rich. Below its point is 
14500 feet, you can see online the depths plunging into the basin. <coughs> Now, today the Biblical Sea of Galilee has an average depth of 84 feet. That's your Emmanuel number again and Marshall number again. It's the largest freshwater lake in the Holy Lands, but it is approximately 33.3 miles in circumference, about 13 miles long and 8.1 miles wide. The lake has a total area of 64 square miles and a maximum depth of approximately 141 feet. At 693.29 or 694 to 697 feet, depending on the time of year, below sea level. It is the lowest freshwater lake on Earth and the second lowest lake overall after the Dead Sea. A saltwater lake 1,300 feet below sea level. It means barak, to strike like lightning. <coughs> So what we have then is um, <clears throat> this basin here, which is, we're talking 4517. So we then can locate Patmos and its height and its sea level around it. And there's your story of Patmos. That's why it's Patmos. Patmos is 3963. In Greek, and that is the radius of the Earth. So you measure at the point, that point there is your focal point to measure from. <clears throat> so what has happened then? Um, is the Straits of Gibraltar were um, <coughs> very, very um, shallow today but this was formally sealed off so therefore no water was flowing in to top off the level of the Mediterranean today through from the Atlantic so if that's closed off that means the only way that water will find its own level is to evaporate. <clears throat> so it evaporated down to those levels, down to the ion base. Now this was dead flat all through here, the same colour. It's dead flat. And this is determined by the type of uh, sediment that these are all created with, with the boot of Italy and uh, the Adriatic Sea and... Uh, how this all fits together. So you look, you locate Patmos around this area, somewhere, here, somewhere. <coughs> then you got the height of what he is above um, sea level. That's your number. All dead flat. <coughs> so the water flows off here. To there, flows off there, to there. It's all these magnificent waterfalls all the way along. The arms of God and angels stretched out. Then you have that. Can you imagine you're down in here looking up at this? Those waters pouring off at the same level all the way around. It's a huge amount of water <coughs> in those days. So you'd be looking up at these waterfalls. And above it all is the altar to the Lord. It's main. <clears throat> 